If you've ever heard or seen the film Interstellar, you know that the phenomenon of the black hole is one of the main features of the film. That and Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Chastain, along with a star-studded cast. The stars couldn't have been more aligned for iconic genius director Christopher Nolan's science fiction film project. But, have the film's depiction of the black hole been as prophetic as it was back in 2014? Here are very interesting myths about black holes from science and the film project that will make you question the human capacity to understand them. Welcome to One Away. Many scientists have spoken about black holes and their place in STEM research, also known as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So, if you're an enthusiast of science and science fiction like Neil deGrasse Tyson, then you'll want to watch this video, the interconnections between these fields are astonishing. Before we get to that, please leave us a like if this video was helpful. And, hit the subscribe button to get our latest videos. The Mythic Depiction of a Black Hole when Christopher Nolan made a pitch for a science fiction project that would use cinema screens like IMAX in order to bring back the discussion of interspace travel and time continuum, he knew he'd receive a lot of flack. The flack would come from scientists and enthusiasts, as well as from the studios, this was a very ambitious art science project and very expensive to make. So, like the investigative procedure of Sherlock Holmes, he enlisted an expert for this one. Kip Thorne. Thorne wasn't your average astrophysicist either, a Nobel laureate to his name and an academic track record from the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. It's important to note that though scientists can often bash religion as a farce, much of science today is ironically religious. Animals, humans, plants, biology, bodily reactions, chemistry, our space and outer space. Physics. Time in all its aspects. Mathematics. That's not even the inclusion of fields like quantum physics and string theory. It's almost like you have to read the Bible of science to understand the world, if not, convert yourself. So, you can imagine that Nolan and Thorne had a lot of work ahead of them. Probably the greatest myth they were interested to test was what a black hole looked like, in accordance with the scriptures of science of course. Thorpe had done the math and went back to Einstein's observation, the more mass a thing has, the greater its production of gravity. The next task was to put these calculations in mind, to a design, rendered in computer graphics by the special effects team. Nolan then sent in, Paul Franklin, to inquire about special visual effects from Thorne. Then, to Nolan's insistence to make it as as accurate as one probably could, the team to work. It was a difficult task, almost like an astronaut team on the ground, with over 30 people on the team, along with a thousand computer systems. The work on the black hole simulation took 100 hours to complete. A black hole isn't a suction cup, but a warp gate. Apparently, it looks like a gate of hell of spacetime, that melds together. When clouds of gadget closer to a black hole, for example, the speed up the heat increases. A sign that it has reached a great degree of heat speed is that it glows with bright light, which showcases the accumulation. Not so much a suction cup, but a warp or a wrap, and it twists dead stars, gas clouds, and dust around it. Since black holes have a great deal of mass in them, they are supposedly millions of times more substantial than that of the Sun. Though it happens quite rarely, the black hole they sighted at the Messier 87 galaxy, is 54 million light years away from the Earth. With the mass of 6.5 billion suns, that's out of this world. This is one of the reasons the interstellar team started and gained traction with their experiments of a wormhole render, aided by Thorne's journal equations. The result was a spherical crystal-like ball, 
which was extraordinary, even more than what science fiction writers would come up with. To take it up a notch with a black hole proved very difficult for the team as their software renders could only accommodate ray traces, since light travels straight. But, gravity bends that light, and black holes even more so. These distortions caused up to 800 terabytes of data in the computers, just to make the gravitation on the frame lens work. Some of the team even made comments that the computers themselves were warped to contain dense mass. This has led many scientists to declare that the outer borders of a black hole are like an event horizon a point of no return. Black holes are more about shape, not color. The black hole isn't entirely black, but is more like a puncture in our concepts of spacetime it's not only about the color but also about shape. This has caused even the most sophisticated camera lenses to have the improbable task of a photo op on them, they're too great and spin so fast. This hasn't deterred science folk from an International Event Horizon Telescope collaboration to get the first photograph of a black hole, made to the public. Even then, most of that is reconstructed, with eight telescopes from around the globe. And though it was a fuzzy image, the black hole looked like a dark sphere encapsulated by a ring of light that glows. A black hole's appearance is different, dependent on your perspective of it. It can appear as very bright on one side, and a bit dim on the other. Some have described it as a beacon of a lighthouse. And some have described as a rainbow of fire around a dark abyss. The colors of a black hole are held due to its shape. Paul Franklin of the visual effects team of Interstellar decided to use the concept of an accretion disk, a set of ring-like matter than orbit around some black holes. One of the team's designers, von Tunzelman took the concept and made a flat, multicolored ring and positioned in on a black hole render that spun. The back and forth warps between the two created an extraordinary halo, which they thought was a bug in the renders. All that gravitational warp of light traces had actually made a very complex almost fingerprint-like pattern. The disk they made glowed and above, below and in front of the spun black hole. The visual effect renders surprised Thorn, and the accuracy of Thorn's equations amazed the special effects team. All this pleased Nolan, and the studio, it looked beautiful. For Thorn, it looked true and was the most accurate depiction of what a black hole would look like. The results in the film were a cut above the rest in terms of science fiction, for the audience, and its scope. Though Interstellar was science fiction, it has revitalized interest in black holes, as well as matters of time dilation phenomenon. A win for the film, and for the scientific community. Have you had ideas that haven't been tested on? Have you wanted to render or draw out scientific theories? If you want some ideas and experiments, then you'll like the stuff over at our video, Science Mysteries Unsolved as we tackle topics like human time travel, and the death event horizon. Also, if you find this black hole video of interest, you'll want to check out our related video on what a space journey feels like and the number one skill you need to become an astronaut, the answer will surprise.